uh, I was having a hangout, you know, with a few friends of mine, and there was this producer there, and he comes and he tells me, "Arey, you party kar rahe ho, tumhare to picture flop hui." So I took his hand and he said, "I didn't say picture flop hui, but the flop didn't happen." So I took a flight from uh, uh, Kullu to Delhi. So that flight, the uh, boarding pass, me. My sequence number was S S R. और मैं बचपन में सीख के आया कि तुम्हारा कोई एक हाथ तोड़े तो मुझके दोनों हाथ तोड़ दो बट uh, इतना मैं कह सकता हूँ मुझे लोग परेशान करते थे यार और मैं बर्दाश्त नहीं कर पाता वो माय टॉलरेंस लेवल वाज नॉट गुड इनफ दुनिया से लड़ नहीं सकते इसलिए अपने पे काम करो आंखें नीचे मुंह बंद मेरा ई नंबर ले लो कोई प्रॉब्लम होगी कुछ मदद करने से पहले या घर वापस जाने से पहले ई करना डरना नहीं है यही रहो नो इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज गोन टेल यू वॉट टू डू My guest today is one of those few people for whom 2020 is going very well. He's had back-to-back successes on the digital platform and obviously right now is the man of the moment. Please welcome a very talented actor and a very dear friend, Amit Sah. Hello, hello. Hey Rahul, thank you for that uh, <laughs> kind uh, introduction. But I it's But cool. I like the part where you said a good friend and Of course, and that is what matters the most. I mean, I know you since ten years yes. now. Very few people. Twenty twenty is going so well, and you know, after a little bit of lull in your career, you just came back. You know, in one month, you had almost three to four releases, all successful. Does it feel like a rebirth for you? You know, Rao, if you actually look at it, it's not twenty twenty. Is the hard work I did in 2019, 2018, 2017, 2016, 2016, and 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 has brought me to where I am today. Post my release, pre my releases. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the scheme of <clears throat> excuse me, the scheme of our industry and the way we are uh, uh, termed successful or not successful is uh, with our releases and the degree of uh, magnitude you know the d of reach is termed as success so uh, in a way it will be very i mean i mean i i'm grateful and i accept all your compliments but it didn't i just didn't like 2020 and these releases didn't just land up you yeah. know it's i've put in a lot of hard work hard work a lot of Yes, yeah. and uh, yes, I, I and I take this with gratitude. I'm very grateful to all the people who have given me these opportunities, to all the people who watch me, and who gave me so much love. But they've given me love before as well. So yeah. sometimes when we get a lot of love, we kind of nullify the love we got two days back or two years back. And I don't kind of distinct. I don't judge between love. I'm very grateful that I'm being loved by the audiences. I'm grateful to the industry. There's a section of people who believe in me, who give me work. There are people like you who always supported me. You know, even when I was out of work, even when I was given giving films that were not working. And um, but that's why I always say, I, you know, there's something I want to share with you. A couple of years back, a film of mine didn't work, and I was uh, I was having a hangout, you know, with a few friends of mine. And there was this producer there, and he comes and he tells me, "Arey, you party kar rahe ho? Tumhare to picture flop hui hai." So, मैंने उनको हाथ जोड़ के ही बोला मैंने कहा सर पिक्चर फ्लॉप हुई है बंदा फ्लॉप नहीं हुआ है यू नो सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू नो एंड आई एम जस्ट हैप्पी आई एम हैप्पी विद द वे थिंग्स आर प्रोसीडिंग आई एम हैप्पी देयर मोर पीपल नाउ बिलीविंग इन मी एंड आई एम जस्ट रेडी फॉर चैलेंजेस आई जस्ट वांट टू वर्क आई वांट टू क्रिएट ग्रेट रोल्स आई वांट टू आई वांट टू वर्क Amit, one of your other very very successful uh, shows this year was Breathe, where uh, you know you got massive appreciation for your uh, performance. You also um, uh, worked with Abhishek in it, and I saw your Instagram post where it was very evident the love you have for your co-star. What is that one special memory which you will always cherish of those times working with him? So I have two answers for this. First of all. I the way I am trained as an actor, I am trained to love my co-actor. Hmm. You know, I am trained to respect my co-actor because I am nothing 
without my co-actor. Having said that, there are a few people who make loving them easy. You know, uh, that and that compliment goes to Abhishek. It's easy to love him. It's easy to uh, work with him. And uh, of course, he's my senior. And uh, uh, just working with him was fun. Uh, though, I mean, you know the kind of complexities our characters have, but uh, so there was not too much of uh, fun on sets. But uh, he's a great guy. I've really enjoyed working with him, and uh, and I'm glad. I'm glad people have liked Breathe. I'm glad people have given it so much love. Your one big mainstream Hindi film success came with Kaipur Chhe. It was also the film you worked with the late Sushant Singh Rajput, and I know uh, you also had very fond. You had a very good relationship with him. What is that one memory of his you will always cherish? I'll tell you something else. Ha. Huh. Because there there are memories that I have already shared. A few of them in interviews. Uh, memories also, you know, they keep coming in and going out. So maybe when I'll get a, yeah, you know, when I'll remember a memory in months to come, I'll share again. Something that happened uh, four days back. I finished work in uh, Kullu. Remember, I sent you a message. Kya tha? <laughs> Bombay, <laughs> area, Goa, <laughs> going to <jake>, interview. <laughs> karenge. So I took a flight from uh, uh, Kullu to Delhi. You know, you take a flight Kullu to Delhi and then Bombay. So that flight, the uh, boarding pass, man. My sequence number was S S R. You know, and I just, I just, I just couldn't get it. Like I said, only I had to get this. I mean, now that we we are talking about Sushant, I mean, you know, obviously after his death, a lot of things followed. What is what do you have to say about? Yeah. The whole atmosphere which changed in our industry. What is what do you have to say? I don't know. What atmosphere change was? I think the world atmosphere change was. You know, the world is changed with the coronavirus. Yeah, of course, industry will change, or has changed, or has been affected with the way we have lost Sushant. And I hope we are affected with it, because if you are not affected with it, then we are not humans. And if you are not human beings, we shouldn't be telling stories about human beings or making movies. I have nothing to say to anyone. I just hope that this, an incident like this, is not repeated. No matter there's competition, we are all complex human beings. There's dislike. Should continue to dislike, but not convert to hatred. Competition should be healthy if there is any. And uh, if we can just be one industry, not be one, two, three, four, five, yeah. not become gods, not become failures. Just survive. Keep working hard. Keep looking. Keep, you know. I hope. I hope. I hope that uh, the you know what Sushant did or the way he's gone. I hope we. I think he's taught us a lesson. I think he has opened his eyes, our eyes, and for him, I feel. I feel that he uh, he rests in peace, man. Because I'm sure till now he's not got any rest. I mean, I also um, read a very interesting thing which you said. Like you know what? I mean, you have come from nowhere man, in this industry, but you said that nobody can call you an outsider. You think yourself as an insider, and I think it's a great thing. With this whole outsider-insider debate, a lot of people, you know, so many, so many young boys like you, come to Bombay, and you know, a lot of them got deterred with these talks. What would, what would be your one message to all the aspiring actors? Mera email number lelo. Koi problem hogi. Kuch kalas karne se pehle ya ghar wapas jaane se pehle email karna. Darna nahi hai. Yehi rao. Nobody in this world is going to tell you what to do. Of course. Your parents tell you that's between you and them. Yeah. Uh, sometimes they also don't know our best, and then that is up to you how you convince them, uh, fight with them, prove them wrong, or prove them that how right you were, and then kind of make peace with them. That's that's between you and your parents. Um, 
बट नो बडी एल्स इन दिस कंट्री और इन दिस वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग टू टेल यू कि तुम्हारे बाल खराब है तुम्हारी आंखें खराब है एंड अगर कोई ऐसा कहे तो बोलना मैं वो रोल करूंगा जिसमें आंखें खराब चाहिए अगर आपको कोई बोलता है आपके बाल खराब है तो आप कहें मैं वो रोल करूंगा जिसमें बाल खराब चाहिए या फिर आप बोलना कि कोई बात नहीं मुझे रोल दे दो मैं बाल ठीक कर लूंगा सो अगेन नो बडी शुड बी एबल टू नो बडी शुड बी एबल टू टेक एनी वन ड्रीम अवे दैट इज क्रिमिनल एंड वी शुड स्टॉप डूंग Of course, movies is a big love for you. I know your other love, and I, I mean, and also we share that. It's about your dogs. I've seen your, I've seen your house. I knew you're coming there. <laughs> I've seen you. I say that it's all about your dogs, and you know, I mean, um, you had three, and now unfortunately you have two. How is that? And you know, it is so exciting that from Bombay you go to Manali, your dogs come with you. Everything. How? Just um, yeah. what do they bring? to your life so the the big boy who is no more liam for uh, huh. for 13 years was my friend when nobody was friend so he actually saw the whole struggle we used to like gym together go to the beach together he was a big part of my life and he's no more i still love him eventually one day i will i think or maybe never but i think what what has happened in kind of context to that I was away for three months, and I just you know, told him, "Ran, boy, I said, you, Coca or Brando, they'll also go through a lot because they were very dependent on Liam. Yeah. Liam raised them. Uh, then maybe घर पे नहीं हो, आप भी घर पे नहीं हो. So we brought them to Patiala. They were in Patiala for two months, and then everybody said that वो पहाड़ में जाएंगे, उल्टी करेंगे. So then we got stressed with the क्या करे नहीं करे. I don't give my dogs any pills and stuff. So I said, you know what, we'll take care of them. Let them like let let them fall sick for a day and then have fun for a month. So we got them to Manali. They were so happy there. Whenever I speak to you, or even right now, there's always so much gratitude when you talk. There is so much love. Is there? I mean, you know what? Let's go back in time. Uh, you've not had a very very easy life. i mean not many know that at one point of time you were actually a house help at somebody's house then you were a watchman at a store yeah but it's a great thing yeah that's it's what a I'm, great thing i'm just saying it's a great too yeah it's yeah, great yeah, yeah. is that this yeah. because you've seen that kind of life and right now this is that the reason there is so much gratitude what are the basic learnings you had from those days um very interesting question rahul um so i think maybe you are right um uh, if i had not seen what i saw or gone through the challenges the experiences or you can call them hardships i don't call them hardships uh, uh because i kind of uh kind of experience a certain kind of life i think i cherish in small and more gratitude for every little thing and i have learned in life that it's a good thing so when i have gratitude it makes me feel happy it keeps the energy around me happy so life is about try and error i was not i didn't have so much gratefulness and gratitude when i was younger and i'm sure you know those stories as well of course uh, i think as i'm growing in life you. not only in <laughs> but as i'm going growing growing in life i i and as i'm learning uh, and experiencing that when you have gratitude genuine gratitude uh, your life is happier and it attracts more positivity more happiness more love and um, and then this exchange of being and receiving just happen very very subconscious level i think it is happening with my life and that's why maybe when people talk to me i come across as a guy who has a lot of gratitude and gratefulness because i do we're talking very good things about you but there was also a phase of yours which was uh, the not so good personality of yours um you started doing so bring it on i have i have not heard <laughs> you started doing so well in television sabke sath jhagda kar diya wahan pe what were why were those days have, like yeah. you were fighting with people and all what the what kya chal raha tha wo time pe yeah rahul itna yaad nahi hai but us samay kisi ne bataya nahi tha that uh, two wrongs don't make a right i learned uh, this very late in life that uh, two wrongs don't make a right 
so my first uh, when i was younger i was a very reactive person okay and uh, aur main bachpan mein seekha hai yaar ki tumhara koi ek haath tod de tum uske dono haath tod do mujhe nahi pata tha ki ye jo philosophy hai life mein kaam nahi aage aage chal ke kaam nahi aayegi and uh, thoda mujhe waqt lag gaya aur waise bhi yaar main 25 saal ka tha yaar 25 saal ke ki umar mein agar ek ladka ya ladki ya bachcha galti nahi karega to kab karega yaar ha agar main 40 saal ki umar mein aisi harkatein aur galtiyan kar raha hu to main kehta hu yaar theek hai thodi sharm aani chahiye you know kitni umar mein badapan nahi hai samajh nahi hai aur तो छोटे थे यार और इन ऑल ऑल मुझे याद भी नहीं है कुछ आई वांट टू लुक फॉरवर्ड बट इतना मैं कह सकता हूँ मुझे लोग परेशान करते थे यार मैं यू नो दिस टू और मैं बर्दाश्त नहीं कर पाता माय टॉलरेंस लेवल वाज नॉट नॉट गुड इनफ एंड आई वाज यंग एंड पीपल वर मीन एंड आई फॉट एंड देन आई गॉट टायर्ड एंड आई रियलाइज की दुनिया से लड़ नहीं सकते इसलिए अपने पे काम करो आंखें नीचे मुंह बंद एंड आई द चेंज माय फिलोसफी तो अ गाय हु केम टू बॉम्बे ऑन अ फिलोसफी की एक हाथ तोड़ेगा मैं दो हाथ तोड़ूंगा आई बिकेम आंखें बंद मुंह नीचे एंड आई जस्ट फाउंड माय स्पॉट एंड आई स्टिल आंखें बंद मुंह नीचे चुपचाप काम कर अमित यू करी मुंह बंद आंखें नीचे अमित लास्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर यू दिस इट्स गोइंग सो वेल एवरीथिंग यू नो टच वर्ड Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Any uh, goals, any aspirations left to be achieved? Uh, learn to be better. Learn to uh, communicate better. Learn to uh, be a better actor. Learn to uh, be more authentic, more genuine, more settled. Learn to love my fans more. Learn to con- maintain and develop great. Uh, 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 meaningful relationships. Learn how to skydive. Learn how to just learn, 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 learn for the next fifty years. I'm going to be life for next seventy years minimum. I'm going to be one hundred and ten minimum. So I have another seventy years or eighty years of learning. You know, and being happy and service people. I think the best job in the world, uh, which is also an extension of acting, is to service people. I want to service people. Yeah, and uh, yeah, and then few hobbies here and there. They keep they they're on. <laughs> Amit, thank you so much. Five years' ka plan nahi hai. Five years' ka plan hai. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much, my friend, for being part of the spotlight. As always, I mean, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Say that I enjoy talking to you. It's always the same case. <laughs>